Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this video, just video tutorial, we will learn that how we can add the checkboxes and radio button in the form. So now let's start with the video points. These are the six video points here. So first of all, we are just going to make a component and import it in the view .js file. Then we will add some inputs with the checkboxes and radio button also. Then we have to define some properties in the form uh, for the form actually inside the data and uh, some methods also then we have to bind them with the properties uh, input box with the properties then we will submit it all right so now let's start with making a component so let's make a component with the name of let's say i just want to make a sign up form so just write here sign up dot view all right and here as you know we have to define the two things one is the template and another is the script tag right and here i will define my f uh, component name sign up right so i think i just have to just change the spell here now that's perfect because i is the capital in the sign up all right that's perfect so now let's uh, just add a single input for a moment here like input type text and that's it for a moment and let's import it inside the view file on the app.view file just write here import sign up from path component and then sign up and now register the sign up component and uh, now we can just use it inside the template all right now let's see what we are getting on a screen we got the text box that means our uh, component is successfully imported now let's go for the second pound point let's define some input points here so first of all i am just going to define two fields for the username then the password and i will just define some hobbies for the check boxes and uh, radio button for the genders all right so now let's make them so just write add a placeholder here so i will add the properties of the view js like uh, uh, we bind after the creating a simple form so just write here enter user name or what i will just want to write here all right so add uh, to be a tag also so that we can just maintain some space because uh, yes we can do it with the help of uh, style also but we are focusing on a normal form that's why i just i don't want to waste the time on a style so just make it a password and just write here enter password and just see here uh, did i save it mm yeah now we have the two tag boxes here so now let's take a p tag here inside the p tag just write here hobbies and here i am just going to add checkbox also so just define the type of checkbox and uh, we don't need a placeholder here and we have to define something or like value can be a uh, uh, so let's say in the hobbies i am just uh, getting like uh, travel uh, that's okay then we have to add we have to add some more things like uh, i have to define the id here so we can also define the same id like travel that's uh, perfect uh, but uh, as you can see that there is a no text so that we can add a label also here so just add a label and uh, let's close it mm. okay and just make it travel here also so this is fine but uh, on a that click of this text the radio button is not changing so i am just going to add here four and let's add a travel so this four will be interact with this id and uh, uh, now it will be just change on a 
click right that's perfect so I am just going to make a copy of it right so just simply make a copy and just write here sports and we can also put the same ID and text and for etc so let's see yeah the both are working fine now let's make a complete copy of it and let's define gender just write here gender and here just put here male and female all right so and here we can also change the values and all so just write here male male and male for everywhere now just write here female female in the id and the value also that's great so here you can see that but uh, we have to change them in a radio just choose here a radio like this right so everything is fine we can select them we can just add the values but here you can see that the both can be selected here but this issue can be resolved with the property binding with the view we will see uh, just in a moment so after that i am just going to define the properties for them so just simply add here data function and in the data function just return um we can just simply return a sign up form or something right and it will be actually return so that's it will just it should like this now let's define the property like uh, username can be null by default then password can also be null and uh, then hobbies yeah, uh, uh, can be array because they are the checkboxes then uh, gender for the radio and they also be null for a by default all right so property is also defined now what i am just going to do i am just going to make a button here and just right here sign up and just uh, use here v on click function and just make a function sign up sign up user all right and let's define this function also for making this function we have to define here methods property and in this methods property let's define this function and for a moment just make a console dot one and just write here hi all right so let's see what we are getting here so whenever okay i will just change it uh, with the br tag but just see here we got a high here so the function is working perfectly so and uh, let's add these two pr tag here also now let's bind the property for the property bind we can just simply use v model and our property name so it can be sign up dot mm, username and it can be sign up form right so this is the sign of form all right so now let's uh, just bind this property with every field like this and here we have to use password then uh, we can just bind it with the uh, checkboxes and here i'm just going to put here hobbies and similar thing we will be on the so just write here hobbies and on the checkboxes just simply write here uh, gender just write here gender all right so what i can just uh, print here for uh, getting this value i can just write here this dot sign up form and now you will see that we will get the all values first of all let's try to click on it and you will see we got the all values blank here right there's nothing in this value array even also zero 
so now like i just want to put in some values like peter password can be 321 and have hope hobby have travel and gender is male and let's click here now in the second uh, console you will find that username is here password is here gender is here and the hobby is also here right so let's say uh just add a uh, any female candidate like kelly password can be like one two three four travel have sports and tra um, travel both and she is a female and click on it and now you will find that female the both hobbies are selected here username and password all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care